Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane. This is standard 6.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four points on this coordinate grid, and we simply need to find the point RVWRS that is best represented by 2, negative 5.5. So let's take a look at our coordinates. So we've got four quadrants. So quadrant 1, it's got a positive x and a positive y. And in quadrant 2, we have our first one that we're going to look at, and that this is R. So we're obviously going to look at the x-coordinate first because x comes before y in the alphabet. And so our x-coordinate for r is going to be in the negative. So it's got a negative x. That's what puts it in quadrant 2. So it's, there's your 5, there's your 6. So we're going to call that negative right in between. Let's just go ahead and call that negative 5.5 as our x. And then if we're looking at our y coordinate, we're going to go up, and it's right on that 2 line right there. So take a look. I bet you that was one of a, the most, if not the most, selected incorrect answer. Because it's got the right numbers. It's got a negative 5.5, and it's got a 2. Unfortunately, they flip them. They've got the x coordinate where the y should be, and so on and so forth. So it is not going to be this point r. We can get rid of that one. We're going to come down here to quadrant 3. Now quadrant 3 has both negative x and negative y. So we've got a v right here. So we're going to look at our negative x first. And you notice it's got this right on that line. So it's going to be negative 2. Let's look at our y coordinate. And it's going to come down and look. It looks like it's going to use that same 5.5. Now it's a negative 5.5. But it looks like we're kind of using that as a theme of 2 and 5.5. So that looks very, very close. Notice, though, we've got a negative 2. We don't need a negative 2. We need a positive 2. And so we are going to not choose V. It's close, but not where we need to. So our answer is going to be over here in quadrant 4. Now, if we knew our quadrants ahead of time, what we could have done is we could have gone on and selected quadrant 4 without even plotting anything. Because take a look at what this wants. This wants a positive x and a negative y. And the only way that we have a positive x and negative y is down in quadrant 4. You see quadrant 1 has got a positive x and a positive y, so we don't need that. Quadrant 2 has got a negative x and a positive y, so that's not what we need either. Obviously, quadrant 3 is both negative x and y, so it's down here in quadrant 4 that we finally get what we need, a positive x, negative y. That's what we need. We have two different choices, though. Let's first look at w, and if that doesn't work, we will look at s. So w here, looks like we've got a positive 2 on our x, so that's good. And then it looks like we're going to come down here, and it's that same, see it's on the same line right there as that V, which was that negative 5.5. So that looks like that's probably it. W, let me question mark this just to triple check. Let's make sure S does not work for us. And you can probably see what they're going to do with S. We're going to keep this theme of 2 and 5.5. So it's going to start with an x-coordinate of positive 5.5. So that's already wrong in two different places. It's positive 5.5 rather than negative, and it's in the x-coordinate, whereas it should be over here in the y-coordinate. And then we have a y-coordinate of negative 2. So once again, it is also wrong in two spots. It's a negative when it should be a positive, and then it's in the y-coordinate when it should be in the x-coordinate. So S is not going to be our answer. So we are going to choose point W, which has got this 2, negative 